Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I've had a few people ask about me making another pictorial slideshow. I did one uh, about a year and a half ago and a lot of people really enjoyed it. And someone suggested that I do another one. Well, a few people suggested I do another one. But I had one person say, hey, can you do one with uh, photos from the old days compared to photos from the new days? So, that is what I've done. I have taken photos of these places where practicable. Some of these places simply don't exist anymore. Uh, or they don't exist in the fashion they existed at that time. So, it was uh, not, I was not able to take photographs of those places now. No, I was not able to take photographs of those places now. But anyway, uh, here we go. But anyway, here we go with uh, the new Bakersfield Pictorial then and now that I put together. I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, here we have the Massa and Sheldon Carriage works between 23rd and 24th on the east side of Chester, and this is what that looks like today. This is the Lowell School at 10th and H Streets. This school was damaged in the 1933 Long Beach earthquake and had to re be rebuilt, and today it is the St. Francis Church. All right, this is the first, or the, I'm sorry, this is the second office of the Bakersfield Californian at 1921 I Street. The first one was on Chester Avenue. Today that location is a private parking lot. This is the Virginia Hotel and Virginia Theater in 1920. Today it is a tattoo shop in the Cinema 19 Theater, how far we have fallen. This is the Franklin School at 18th and A Street in 1922. This building had to be rebuilt after the 33 earthquake and uh, was built on the same location with the school now facing Truxton Avenue. This is inside the Jim Baker Electric Store in 1924 at 1009 Baker Street. Today, this is the Baker Street Community Health Center. This is the Motor Transit Bus Company at 19th and N in 1924. Today, it is a vacant uh, store that used to be a bird supply store. This is the Kern County Courthouse, it used to face Chester Avenue in 1925. This building was damaged in the 52 earthquake and was replaced with this structure, which we know and love today. This is the Bakersfield Jail, shown in 1925. It's set at Truxton and Q. It was damaged in the 52 earthquake and was rebuilt as the federal courthouse. The federal court shut down a few years ago and it is now the Centennial Center. This is the original Southern Pacific Depot at Baker and Sumner, built in 1875. It was vacated this past June. Its future is uncertain and this is what it looks like today. This is the Hobson Mortuary at 620 Oregon Street in 1924. That business is still operating as the Basham Hobson Mortuary. It's still in the same place, still looks almost exactly the same. This is the California Theater at a big gala event in 1925, right down on Chester Avenue. And this is what that building looks like today. It is now vacant. This is Cable Motors at the corner of 21st and Chester on the northwest corner. Look at some of the cars they used to sell. This is what it looks like today. It is Guarantee Shoe Center. Business been here for a long time too. This is the Californian office at 17th and I under construction in 1926. And today this is what that beautiful building looks like. And this is inside the Hockheimer's Department Store in 1927. This is at 19th and Chester on the northeast corner. This is what the inside of that building looks today, at least this part. Jalisco Jewelers, very nice people. Go buy some jewelry. This is the Haberfeld Building on the northeast corner 
of 17th and Chester under construction in 1927. And this is what the Haverfeld building looks like today. Still have a lot of businesses in there. I actually conduct business in this building. It's still really neat. This is inside the Piggly Wiggly store, southwest corner of 21st and Chester in 1927. Today, it is Doug's Hobbies. I actually do some business with Doug now and then. And this is Johnson's Western Gasoline Station at 1105 Baker Street in 1927. And this vacant lot is all that's left there today. This is the uh, Nile Theater, shown in 1928. It was once the Bakersfield Opera House. Nile Theater is still there today. This is what it looks like, but I don't think they've shown any films in a while. This is looking east up the north side of 19th Street from I Street in 1928, and this is what that same view looks like today. This is the Kern County Creamery on the northeast corner of 22nd and I in 1928. Today, it is the parking lot behind Fred Cummings Motorsports on Chester Avenue. All right, this is the Nash dealership, the corner of Truxton and K. You can see the spires of St. Francis Church here to the right and a gas pump on the corner. This is what it looks like today. The Bank of America building. This is the New China Cafe at Q and 18th in 1929. This building was damaged in the 1952 quake and was rebuilt with different bricks. As you can see here, it actually looks quite a bit different. This is the Kern County Fair when it used to be out at Samlin, where Samlin Ballpark is today. This is, picture was taken in 1929. And this is what that looks like today. It's the parking lot for Samlin Ballpark. This is Red Lake's department store on the southeast corner of 18th and Chester in 1929 for the company Picnic. And this is what that corner looks like today. This is Security Tire at the northwest corner of 18th and K Streets in 1930. And today it is a big square business building. I don't know who owns it. This is the Masonic Lodge on 18th Street in 1930. Pretty impressive building, and it hasn't changed much at all in all these years. And this is the Metropole Hotel. It's one of the oldest in Bakersfield. It's shown here in 1930. This is what the Metropole looks like today. It's called the Kern Town Hotel and has a bunch of stores on the bottom floor. This is the uh, Kern Auto Camp, which sat alongside Chester Avenue, near the circle, north of the circle. And today it is where the Tower Motel is, and this is the view from the Union Pacific Railroad Bridge. This is the Penny Store at 2018 and 2020 Chester Avenue in 1930. And this is what it looks like today is the Aura and the Buena Vista Museum. This is looking east along Sumner Avenue from the Southern Pacific Freight Depot in 1930. This is that same view today from AAA Meats and Bakersfield Tool Repair. This is the Hotel Arthur at the uh, southeast corner of 18th and L in 1930. And this is what it looks like today. It's been vacant for quite some time. This is the Golden Crust Bread company. It was at 1515 M Street. A lot of people say it smelled really good. This is what it looks like today. It's part of the uh, Kern County Court Annex. This is looking north up Union Avenue from Sumner Street in 1931. This is the same view looking up north today with the Union Avenue overpass. This is looking north up Baker Street on the east side of the street in 1932. This is the same view today. This is looking north up North Chester Avenue from Beardsley Avenue in Oildale in 1935. This is the same view up North Chester through Oildale today. 
Here is a view of the traffic circle at Chester. Looking northeast from 1935 and what it looks like today with a big old bridge over it. This is the Women's Club at 18th and D in 1935. And this is what it looks like today. Still a beautiful building, still the Women's Club. This is the security market on the northwest corner of 20th and Chester in 1935. And this is what it looks like today. It has been abandoned for many, many years. This is a trolley car going around the clock tower at 17th and Chester in 1938. And this is what that intersection looks like today in the same view. This is looking south on Baker Street from around Lake Street in 1938. This is that same view today. Over it. This is looking west up 18th Street from K. You can see the Padre up there on the right. This is that same view today. This is the Southern Hotel in the northwest corner of 19th and Chester, about 1940. And this is what that location looks like today at the old Penny's building. This is the car barn for the Bakersfield and Kern Electric Railway at 19th and Union. This is where they used to park all the trolleys when we had streetcars, and this is what that corner looks like today. This is a view of Kern Medical Center looking north from across the street in 1940. And this is what that same view looks like today. There's an aerial view of Meadows Field Airport in 1943. Couldn't get in a plane to get a new one of it. This is the Hoskins building about 1945. This is at 19th and Chester in the northeast corner. This is what it looked like in 1952 after the earthquake. This is what it looks like today. This is the Southern Pacific Depot at Baker and Sumner in 1947 with the San Joaquin daylight ready to leave. This is what it looks like today. No daylight. This is the Brock's tents that were set up in the parking lot on 28th Street in Westchester after the 52 earthquake. And this is that parking lot today. Westchester Bowl up there. Building at the southeast corner of 18th and I. They were a nonprofit insurance company. This is what that lot looks like today. This is Wally Tucker Dotson on 19th and Baker Street in 1960. And this is what that looks like today. And this is Brock's downtown in 1965 at 20th and Chester. And this is what it looks like today. It is priceless furniture and antiques. It does a good little business. Well, I hope you all liked my little journey around town through time. Now let me know what you think. Comments below. Shoot me an email at motorport59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future contents. And check out dedication to all the people whose material I use to make this with. We'll see you.